Hello, boys and girls. Let's look back at our I can statement. We've been working on story problems all week. Let's look at this together. Remember, follow along with your eyes and listen with your ears. Ready? Use your finger to point. I can model and solve story problems with differences within five. So we've been working on this and I wanted to talk to you about how to model story problems. Do you see this word model right here? When we're modeling something, we're showing it off and showing how we do it. So if you're modeling a story problem, there's different ways that you might model it. I'm going to show you a couple of different things that you might do. You may use a, a piece of paper to help you out. You may have some paper and you may use, use that paper to help you. You may have um, a marker or something else and you may, you know, use that paper to write a number. Maybe you're using pictures. Maybe you're using illustrations to show that number, okay? So you could model the number five with writing the number five, or you could model it with a picture. For example, five circles. You could also model it with tally marks, and we've done that in class. Do you remember? Do it with me. Remember how we pull straight down? Do it with me. So we can pull straight down one, two, three, four, cross for five. So right now I have three different ways that I model the number five. But you know what? You could also use objects at your home. Have you done that before? So there are some objects that you could find. I want to share with you some of the things that I found at my home that you might be able to use at your home too. Okay, so one of the things I thought was, you know what? I have cereal and I have pieces of cereal. So you know what I could do? I could have Cheerios. Do you see my Cheerios? I have one, two, three, four, five Cheerios. Do you all see? Count with me. Use your finger. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. So I could actually use some Cheerios to help me out. Now I'd have to be very careful that I don't crunch them. Very careful. You could use um, Cheerios, some other food items. Maybe you could use beans or something else at home that's not sticky, okay? You don't want to, and you don't want to be hot or cold, okay? Um, you know what? I could use markers or crayons. So right now I have some markers that I have here. So I have, can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five markers. Do you see how we could show the number five with marker. We could do that also. So I'm gonna have that here. I'm gonna show you all of my ideas in a moment, but let me go ahead and show you the next one. Are you ready? Okay, so I could use straws. These are from, I, I collect some things. Sometimes I collect different straws from restaurants or, or plastic wear, you know, like silverware. So I have straws. I have one, count with me, one, two, three, four, five straws. You could use straws as a model for your story problem, right? Let's see what else. Oh, and you know what? You could use something. I know that we are just finishing the month of April and moving into May. You, could use plastic Easter eggs to count with, right? I have one, two, three, four, five eggs. You could use egg to model how to solve story problems and 
find the differences within five. Oh, and I've got a couple more real quick, okay? Stay with me. You could use cups, one, two, three, four, five cups. You could use toys. I bet you have toys. Do you have five toys at home? It could be five Legos. It could be five stuffed animals. Um, I actually have one, two, three, four, and five troll dolls. These trolls could be, could show a model for five, right? One, two, three, four, five. We could do that. And, okay, almost done, almost done, almost done. Remember I said I collected straws and plasticware? Okay, so I have plastic forks. Now, you have to be really careful with this. Maybe a plastic spoon might be a little safe for kindergartners. But plastic forks, one, two, three four, five plastic forks. That could totally work. And oh, I can use socks. One, two, three, four, five pairs of socks. Right? And let's see if there's anything else. Oh, the last things, I have five coins. And if you're from New Orleans, these are called doubloons. If you're not from New Orleans, they're doubloons. Or you could use coins. It could use, you could use pennies, quarters, buttons, other types of things. One, two, three, four, five coins. So I'm gonna show you real quick what I could use, let me show you. Okay, so here are some different things that we could use to show our story.